Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but we're going to be talking about the news that came out a couple of days ago from Ghost Recon Frontline and the fact that they are going to be delaying the closed test for Ghost Recon Frontline. At this point, it is going to be indefinitely delayed because currently they have no details on exactly when the closed test is going to take place. So real quick before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, for those of you that wish to support the creation of more content here on the channel, make sure to hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. It will be the top link down in the description below. Make sure to go check it out. So first things first, going back to October 5th for the Ghost Recon 20th anniversary celebration. I think a lot of us had our expectations set a little bit too high for that event considering what we actually got from the developers over at Ghost Recon. A lot of people thought that Ghost Recon Legacy was going to be some sort of a remaster of one of the OG Ghost Recon games and it turned out to be you getting Ghost Recon 1 for free which it's only a $4.99 game over on Steam. And we also had very little to no new information about Operation Motherland which honestly I thought was going to be the primary focus of the 20th anniversary livestream. And then they closed out the 20th anniversary showcase with the announcement of Ghost Recon Frontline, which is a 100-player Battle Royale-style game that is set in the first-person perspective. And with that came a massive amount of backlash from the Ghost Recon community because nobody asked for this style of game. And that is definitely showcased over on the official reveal trailer over on YouTube, where it currently sits at over 21,000 dislikes with less than 240,000 overall views on the video itself. So with all of that being said, fast forward eight days. So eight days after the reveal of Ghost Recon Frontline, the developers over at Ubisoft Bucharest put up a post detailing that the Ghost Recon Frontline closed test that as far as I know was supposed to take place in either late October or November, I believe, has been postponed indefinitely. So here is the post that they put up over on Twitter, and it says that they have an important announcement regarding the Ghost Recon Frontline closed test. The devs go on to say that they have decided that it's the best to postpone the closed test for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Frontline. The development team is dedicated to creating the best experience possible. We'll share details on the new date for the closed test as soon as we can. Thank you for your ongoing support. And to be honest, thank you for your ongoing support. I can almost guarantee you there has not been a whole lot of support, you know, sent over to the devs because like I said earlier in the video, this is not something that I know anybody really wanted um, in a first person battle royale game with Ghost Recon's name on it. I will say there has been a bunch of feedback over on the forums as well as on YouTube from different content creators as well as community members of the Ghost Recon franchise that have been detailing things that maybe they could do to kind of, you know, swing this game more to what we want to see in a Ghost Recon game. So maybe that's the reason for the delay. Obviously, it's not good that they don't have any details on when the closed test will actually take place. I know there was a bunch of tweets and stuff over on Twitter that were very, not very kind um, in the comment section of this tweet, and we're not going to be really going into any of those today. But if things weren't already bad enough for Ghost Recon Frontline, fast forward 24 hours from their announcement of delaying the closed test, and Battlefield announces Battlefield Hazard Zone, which, to be honest, it's not 100 players, but is very similar to Ghost Recon Frontline's BR mode. So Hazard Zone is sort of Battlefield's take on the Hunt Showdown Escape from Tarkov style game, but obviously with all of the Battlefield games, all of the Battlefield games have been first person. Ghost Recon kind of dipping their toes back into that first person genre, which a lot of Ghost Recon fans were not happy about kind of put them sort of on edge as it was at the start of their reveal, but I do think Battlefield will find success with this game mode, but the one huge difference between Ghost Recon Frontline and Battlefield Hazard Zone is Ghost Recon Frontline is going to be free to play. Battlefield's Hazard Zone is going to be tied to the main game of Battlefield 2042, so you're going to have to purchase the full game to access this game mode, but when it comes to actually core things in the game, you're going to have Levolution just like there's in all of the Battlefield games. You're going to have map destruction, you're going to have really good weapons, you're going to have really good weapon customization, you're going to have character customization, you're going to have a really solid first person shooter game because that's what Battlefield is known for. Ghost Recon really isn't known for their first person games anymore and with that being how it's going to be in Ghost Recon Frontline, I really feel like they're kind of starting way behind 
being the fact that they are not even doing a closed test yet because it was postponed and Battlefield 2042 is releasing in about a month with that hazard zone tied to it. And I just think this really does spell disaster for Ghost Recon Frontline's new game. The developers over at Ubisoft Bucharest said that this game has been in development for three years. I don't know exactly what engine it's going to be running on. Obviously, I think it's a new engine that's built out to kind of take the brunt of what that first person, 100 players and everything like that, that's going to be. But I feel like with the closed test being postponed currently indefinitely and Battlefield 2042's Hazard Zone launching alongside the game in about a month, I really feel at this point that Ghost Recon Frontline is almost a lost cause. Not throwing any shade or anything at the devs, but at this point, with Battlefield Hazard Zone coming out and the fact that maybe Battlefield's working on a BR on the back end to release maybe next year as a free-to-play title, I think the odds are definitely going to be stacked against Ghost Recon Frontline. And at this point, I almost feel like the devs over at Ubisoft Bucharest could concentrate on other things to help better the Ghost Recon franchise because, yeah, Frontline might be a lost cause at this point. But overall, that is going to do it for the video. I would definitely like to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Is Frontline something that you guys might be willing to play if they actually release this at some point? You know, with the closed test being postponed indefinitely, we don't have any details on when that's actually going to take place. It is a very real possibility that this game doesn't come out because I truly don't feel that this game was worked on for three years. I know they did state that in the trailer and the description of the video and stuff like that, that this game has been worked on for three years. I just feel like that this game could definitely have been made much shorter because most of the assets are direct ports from Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yes, it is a new engine that you kind of have to lay things over the top of, but I don't feel like this game really took three years to make. And I would love to know what you guys think about this down in the comments section. Are you excited about Ghost Recon Frontline? Are you more excited about Operation Motherland for Ghost Recon Breakpoint and the possibility of another, you know, normal Ghost Recon PvE game coming down the pipe, hopefully within the next couple of years? Because I think that's the direction Ghost Recon really needs to go. They need to listen more to their community and less to the higher-ups and corporate guys over at Ubisoft itself. Also being the fact that we don't have a lot of information on Operation Motherland, Hopefully at the end of Operation Motherland, maybe we get a teaser for the next entry into the Ghost Recon franchise. With all of the negative talk going around with Ghost Recon as a franchise, especially after announcing Frontline, I think it would be the perfect opportunity to try to swing the narrative back to the positive, get people excited about the Ghost Recon franchise again with possibly a new title with a lot of the feedback that the community has given to the devs over the last few years. I think that would be the best thing going forward. But hey, I don't work for public relations at Ubisoft. Maybe that's something that they need to keep in mind. Some of us out here in the community seem to kind of have a better grasp on what the community actually wants from a Ghost Recon game. And uh, I think maybe that would be a possibility going forward. I know I definitely would, uh, would definitely put myself up to the challenge um, if I could uh, get my foot in the door and maybe swing this back to the franchise's favor. But that's enough of me rambling. Like I said, that is all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you are excited about Operation Motherland coming right around the corner. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. But that is going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.